for the base for grip grip with your strong hand or both your weak one. This is a very often used grip variation. And the first you should learn. You can use it for the inverted V for example and also for a lot of spins like the fireman spin. It is important that you keep your arms and shoulders engaged. And don't hang just down like I show you now. This is wrong. To keep your arms engaged, just bend them a little and push your shoulders down and back to engage them also. Another common mistake is to overgrip the pole. Your wrists should stay straight. Don't wrap them around the pole like this. This happens often when walking or especially when spinning around the pole. Don't wrap your wrists around it. You may grip too tight if this happens. Let your hands slide with your arms. This is a good variation and like this it's wrong. And now another variation of the baseball grip. Turn your lower hand towards your face so that your forearm can push against the pole and grip a bit higher with the right hand. You can of course switch hands. This keeps you away from the pole and is also good for climbing. For the split grip, grip high with your upper hand and very low with your lower hand. Fingers are pointing down of the lower hand. Pull with the upper arm and push with the lower one to hold your body up. You can use this one for example for spins or also for tricks like the fry rest. It is important that you keep especially your lower wrist straight. Stay close to the pole as a beginner and don't let your upper hand slide down and bend your wrist. Try to keep it straight like this. It's easier to hold this pose when you're close to the pole. The gun grip is only a hand grip variation. Let the index finger of your lower hand point towards the floor. This can make the split grip and other grip variations more stable. This one is often used for more advanced tricks like the handspring. For the half bracket grip, go into the split grip and twist your lower hand around. Thumbs are pointing up now. Use your lower hand to push away from the pole. You can use this one for example for the chair spin or also for a climb. For the anchor grip, start in a split grip and let your upper hand slide down to wrap your forearm around the pole. This one is good for different poses like the boomerang pose for example. Pull with the upper arm and push with the lower one. You can also use this one for aerial body waves. For the elbow grip, grab the pole with the lower hand in a gun grip. Then hook the elbow of the other arm. Really tense your muscles. Your hand should be pointing down, not towards the ceiling. You can do different poses once you feel comfortable with it. Or you can also do a spin. This one is on spinning mode. A more advanced trick with the elbow grip is the elbow grip Aisha.
again lower hand in gun grip and the upper arm will point down. You can also just hook the elbow and release the lower hand for an embrace. I will show you the forearm grip in an invert. The lower hand grips in the gun grip. The upper hand grips at about shoulder height. And the forearm is pressed against the pole. You can grip with both hands in the gun grip. From here you can for example go into a forearm grip eyeshadow. You can also use the script to do a flag invert. I keep my lower arm bent, but you can also do it with a straight arm. For the strong hold, place the pole between your body and the upper arm of your lower hand. The outside hand will be the upper hand. You can use this one, for example, for aerial inwards, also on spinning mode, or also for more simple spins like the tuck spin. In this grip variation, your upper hand will be in an unnatural position. Decide on your own whether you want to learn it, but if it's painful for you, don't do it. I will first show you how it looks like. The lower hand grips in a gun grip and the upper hand is twisted like this. You can go up into a twisted grip handspring from here. I'll show you now how you can walk into it. Grip high with your hand and walk around the pole so that your wrist twists around. You can also do a phoenix with the script variation. This variation is only for advanced pole dancers. For the true grip, the lower hand grips in a gun grip. The upper hand grips in the cup grip. This means that all fingers are on the same side and your front is pointing down. You can go up into a true grip handspring from here. Again, don't wrap your thumb around the pole. Fingers should all be on the same side, like here. For the armpit grip, place the pole between your upper arm and your body. You can go into a teddy from here. Your arm can also go from front to back. Grab your ankle to make it easier to hold the pose. There are also some other grip variations, which are only used for certain moves. For example, this one. Upper hand grips high and the lower hand will push your body away from the pull with the upper. This one allows you to do a nice combo. I'll show it to you. The next one is used for cradle invert or cradle poses. Pole is between your upper arm and your body and the outside arm is around your back. Thumbs are pointing up. This is a cradle V. You can also do an invert from this pose.
First shoulder mount grip is the most common one, the double cup grip. Both hands grip in a cup grip. This means your fingers are all on the same side and the thumbs are pointing down. For the Chinese grip, grip with your hands from the front and wrap your thumbs this time around the palm. The thumbs are pointing up. In the Wiener grip, the lower hand is in a cup grip, thumb is pointing down. And the upper hand is in a Chinese grip. Thumb is wrapped around the pole and pointing up. For the twisted grip, the right arm goes from the right side to the left. Thumb is around the pole and is pointing up. It is the same position as for the twisted grip handspring. The other hand will grip at elbow height in a cup grip. Thumb of the lower hand is pointing down and not wrapped around the pole. The last variation is the elbow grip. Hook your elbow, hand should be pointing down, and grip the pole above in a cup grip. And you can also try it one out. Another variation of this one is to grip your elbows. Have fun trying some different variations.